All right, so from a design perspective, these might be my favorite Sony earbuds ever. These are the Link Buds Open Fit. They're a small, lightweight pair of lifestyle earbuds that bring a lot to the table. They come in at 200 bucks, and just to get straight to the point, what excites me the most about these is the fit. If you look at the earbuds, you can see they have this wingtip design, but it's not actually a wingtip. Sony calls it an air supporter, and that's because it's hollow. There's literally nothing in it but air, which makes it insanely flexible. It's basically a silicone cover that goes on the outside of the earbud to help with the fit. Now for me, somebody that has incredibly small ears, this is actually a big deal. Since the air supporter is so flexible, it actually fits comfortably in my ear and the grip from the silicone helps lock the earbuds in place. The design reminds me a lot of the Beats Fit earbuds that came out a few years ago. Those have a wingtip design and they work great for a lot of people, but for me, the wingtip was too large and uncomfortable due to the size of my ears. I ended up returning those earbuds because I couldn't wear them for more than 20 minutes at a time. With the open fit, I think these are gonna work for a wider range of people because of that air supporter. Personally, I can wear these for up to two hours at a time with minimal fatigue. Something else you'll notice is that the ear tip is fairly shallow and that helps as far as comfort. Now, another thing I really like about these is the case. It's insanely compact compared to the AirPods case, which is a pretty common benchmark. You can see just how compact it is. It does make up some ground in terms of thickness, but as a whole, the footprint is incredibly small. The other thing that's unique about this case is the marble finish. Under the right lighting, you can see that marble pattern on the top, which gives the case some character compared to just a plain white case. And apparently the marble pattern of each case is completely different from the next. So essentially, no two cases look the exact same. Sony also has accessories that you can mix and match to really make the earbuds yours. You've got protective silicone covers for the case, as well as different color air supporters for the earbuds. And I kind of like this, you know, there's so many earbuds out there these days. It's just another way to help these stand out from the rest. Now, switching up the different colors probably isn't something that I'll do all that much, but I'm sure there's some people out there that would enjoy having the option. So before we get into some of the lifestyle features, let's take a look at some general specs. We've got Bluetooth 5.3, we also have multi-point connection, and then as far as battery life, you're looking at roughly five and a half hours with noise cancellation turned on. That number jumps up to eight hours with noise cancellation turned off. And then the case holds an additional three charges. There's also fast charging where just five minutes can get you roughly an hour's use. Now, one thing to note is these don't support wireless charging. So if that's a feature you're looking for, you will have to look elsewhere. At this price, I would like to have wireless charging, but it is what it is. So earlier I referred to these as lifestyle earbuds, and that's because they have a ton of features that are designed to fit seamlessly into everyday life. If you already own a pair of Sony earbuds or headphones, you might've noticed that they recently updated the app. You still have your usual settings, ambient sound control, EQ control, so on and so forth. One of the new features is the auto ambient mode. And basically when you have the earbuds set to ambient mode, they will actively adjust the strength based on your surroundings. If you're just hanging out and things are relatively quiet, the earbuds will lower the strength since there's not much going on. If you were to get up and walk outside, the earbuds would then increase the strength so you could be more aware of your surroundings. You still have speak to chat, which lowers your music and activates the ambient mode anytime you start speaking. So if you've got noise cancellation turned on, you're listening to music and somebody walks up to you and starts talking, all you have to do is start talking and the ambient mode automatically kicks in. Now, another new feature is the background music effect. So if you're someone that likes to go to a coffee shop to get work done, because maybe you enjoy the subtle background noise, maybe some light music in the distance. This feature basically imitates that. It makes your music sound as if it's coming from far away, so you can have some ambiance, but still have a sense of focus at the same time. And it's actually not bad. I tried it out just for the heck of it as I was working on the script for this video, and I think it accomplishes the intended use case pretty well. 
There's also a new autoplay feature that allows you to program routines for your earbuds. For example, you can set the earbuds to automatically launch Spotify as soon as they're placed in your ears. That way you don't even have to pull out your phone. You could do the same thing if you're getting ready to start a workout. And there's different parameters that you can change to customize the experience. You also have built-in voice commands that allow you to control the earbuds without a voice assistant. Basically, you can say, hey, headphones, and then you can choose from a list of commands. It works for your playback controls, your volume control, as well as your ambient sound control. And one thing I have noticed is you want to make sure you're speaking loud and clear for this feature to work consistently. You also have head gestures, which is another hands-free feature. So if you're receiving a phone call, you can simply nod your head to accept the call or you can shake your head to reject it. And then as far as touch controls, you have tap sensitive controls on the earbuds themselves, but there's also a feature called wide area tap that allows you to tap your sideburn area, the area right in front of your ear, because the earbuds can actually detect those vibrations. So between the voice commands, between tapping the earbuds themselves or using the wide area tap, you've got some options as far as controls. And then there's also an auto power save feature that disables a lot of the advanced features whenever the battery reaches 20% or lower. Now you might've seen or heard about Sony's new LinkBuzz speaker, which is designed to be a companion product to the new LinkBuzz series. And basically the speaker and the earbuds can automatically switch between each other. So if you're in your room enjoying music on the speaker, and then all of a sudden you take your open fit and put them in your ears, your music will automatically transition from the speaker over to the earbuds. As you can see, these have a ton of features that are designed to give you an incredibly seamless user experience. Now, as far as sound quality, these are using Sony's new Dynamic Driver X, and to be honest, they're giving you signature Sony level sound. It's clear, it's rich, you have a good amount of range with the custom EQ. The Excited preset is normally where my EQ lives. I think it gives you a dynamic sound, punchy bass, clean treble, and I think the majority of people are really gonna like how these sound. The bass is great without ever being over the top. Now, if you're looking for a hardcore, skull rattling, subwoofer type bass, these aren't exactly that. But again, for most people, I think the bass is gonna be plenty. As far as treble and clarity, like I said, it's very clean without coming off overly harsh. Now, of course, we also got to talk noise cancellation. And the thing I find interesting about these is that you can hear the noise cancellation adapt to certain sounds. For example, my wife was running the vacuum through the house and as she got closer, I could hear the noise cancellation adjusting to cancel that noise more effectively. And this is without adaptive sound control turned on. Now, it doesn't seem to do this for any and every sound, just certain sounds here and there. So as far as lower frequencies, I think the noise cancellation is great. When it comes to higher frequencies like voices, I think it could be a little better. And I think it's because of the way that these sit in the ear. Like I said earlier, the ear tip is a bit more shallow, so you don't get as much of that isolation effect. If you're looking for the best noise cancellation that Sony has to offer, the WF-1000X and 5 are still the way to go. All right, what's going on guys? So as you can see, we got the Sony Link Buds open fit paired up and connected with the S24 Ultra. And right now what you guys are listening to is a microphone test. As you guys can see, we're outdoors today. Sounds like there might be a car coming behind me. That's a uh, testament to the overall ambient mode. But yeah, so this should give you guys a rough idea as to how you would sound if you were to take phone calls with the Link Buds open fit. So there's a lot to like about the Link Buds open fit. Feature set, sound quality, noise cancellation. But for me, the star of the show is just the design. I really enjoy that hollow wingtip design. I haven't really seen anything like it. They're comfortable, compact, lightweight, and they're just a really good lifestyle earbud. So that's my take on the Link Buds Open Fit. Feel free to check out the link in the description if you guys are interested in grabbing a pair. And aside from that, I appreciate you guys as always, and I'll see you in the next one.